Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome at the introduction of the new breaker batches solution which has been developed by Sanovo and Overtrack. My name is Jo Beekhuis from Overtrack and with me is Tom Metz Sandholt from Sanovo. Before we introduce our joint innovation, I'd like to give you some more information about Overtrack. We have been active for almost 20 years now and supply the egg industry with traceability, automation and inventory management solutions. Our company started from an egg grading center in the Netherlands and over the years our solutions have developed further with the help of our customers into very practical IT solutions for egg grading centers, egg processing plants and hatcheries. At the end of this presentation I will give more information about our solutions for egg processing. Last year in 2020 we started a strategic cooperation with Sanovo Technology Group to support the global demand for our solutions and to develop new solutions for our joint customers. And today we announce a first result of that cooperative development. But before I do that I'd like to introduce you to Tom, who is joining us from Sanovo in Denmark. Hi Tom, nice to see you. How are you? Hi Joop, I'm fine thanks, good to see you. Actually, the cooperation between Sanovo and Overtrack goes some 18 years back as you know, and our strategic cooperation since last year is speeding up the development of new tracking and tracing solutions. As product and business manager for egg processing, I recognize that egg processors have an increasing demand for tracking and tracing solutions to provide better insight into the performance of their business and breaker batches will play an important role on that journey. Now I will let you, Joop, go into details about what breaker batches can do for egg processes. With the market introduction of breaker batches, we are introducing a first in the egg processing industry. The new breaker batches solution offers automatic batch changes on the Sonovo OptiBreaker breaking machines and communication of the breaking results of these batches in Overtrack. And that's a great first step to full traceability and valuable data for individual batches of eggs that are processed in an egg breaking plant. We are introducing two versions of this solution, generic breaker batches and supplier breaker batches. The generic breaker batches solution offers communication between Overtrack and the Sanovo OptiBreaker and it delivers breaking results for predefined batches like for every shift or for every hour of the day. The supplier breaker batches solution offers the same functionality for batches per supplier and this adds the ability to scan pallet labels within Overtrack to make a batch at the loader and the Sanovo RFID batch change solution to automate the change from one batch to another. Sanovo and Overtrack are the very first to offer this to the egg processing industry worldwide. And Tom, maybe you can explain why this solution has been developed? Sure I can. Both Sanovo and Overtrack noticed an increasing demand in the egg processing industry for an automated batch change system on the breaking machine and the need for more accurate breaking results for individual batches. With this breaker batches solution, breaking results are accurate to the egg. Furthermore, the breaking results will be available in the Overtrack database, so you can build up statistics for breaking results for batches or suppliers, which can help you make better choices for a particular batch of eggs for a specific run on the breaking machine. Finally, the batch change it doesn't require the loader to stop in between batches. The breaker batches solutions offers batch changes without stopping the loader and therefore without compromising production capacity. Okay, thank you Tom. I would now like to take the opportunity to explain how the solution works. As I said before, there are two versions, generic batches and supplier batches. Generic batches is based on pre-programmed batches, such as one batch in the morning and one batch in the afternoon, while supplier batches creates a different batch for each different supplier. 
For this reason, generic batches only requires initial setup. Once the batches are programmed, the results will flow in automatically according to the batches. For supplier batches, the process starts with scanning pallet labels within Overtrack for the eggs that are put on the loader. Overtrack will recognize when a pallet belongs to a different supplier and will ask for an RFID egg. And the RFID egg is then scanned with the Overtrack scanner, connected to the new batch and put on the first pallet that enters the loader. The details of the batch are sent to the OptiBreaker and you can see them in the operator screen. When the RFID egg is detected by the RFID reader on the OptiLoader, which is also part of this solution, the batch is activated. The RFID egg then is thrown out of the loader and the OptiBreaker keeps track of the batch change position until the eggs are broken. And at that time, the new batch becomes active and the breaking results from the previous batch are exported to Overtrack. To visualize this, we've made a short video of the supplier breaker batch solution at one of our joint customers, the Global Food Group. After watching this video, Tom, I have two questions for you. One, does this only work on new OptiBreakers or can this be retrofit on existing lines? And two, what type of breaking results will our customers get with these breaker batches solutions? First question, we can retrofit breaker batches on all existing OptiLoader Plus egg loaders. Second question, Customers will be seeing their main KPIs for the specific batch. This means that customers can, as an example, track data like difference between incoming eggs and loaded eggs, losses during breaking, whole egg percentage, average capacity to the specific batch. 
This insight reveals data that enables the customers to act proactively with their suppliers to reduce losses and increase their yield. Okay, thanks for that, Tom. I'd now like to conclude this presentation by summarizing the advantages of breaker batches. With this solution, we're offering breaking results per batch. And we do that accurate to the egg. And by that, you can build up statistics from breaking results for each supplier. We can export the breaking results of individual supplier batches in any format. And all of this you can do on the fly without downtime. We do batch changes without leaving a gap on the loader. So I'm excited about this first joint market introduction and I'm sure it will be valuable to a lot of you. For now, thank you for watching this video and if you're interested in this new solution, please send an email to info at overtrack.nl. You can give us a call or check our website. Of course, you can also contact your local Sonova re representative for this solution as well. And as I said at the beginning of this presentation, for those of you that are interested, I will give some more detailed information about the Overtrack solutions for egg processing. For others, and also for you, Tom, thanks a lot for your interest and watching. Have a good day. I would like to explain the complete Overtrack solutions process with help of the layout that you see behind me. I'd like to start with number one. On your server, we install an Overtrack database. And usually we create an interface with your ERP system so that the Overtrack database can be filled automatically with base data like customers, products, suppliers, but also purchase orders and sales orders. In the plant, the first step is pre-printing labels for your contract suppliers. We can pre-print a roll of labels for every flock, uh, hand it over to your supplier and they can, they can then just put one label on every pallet. And that pallet can be scanned in during receive. Uh, at receive, all pallets from your contract farmers are scanned and then into inventory of eggs for processing increases. But at number three, you can also print labels if you receive eggs from others. One way or another, after receiving, all pallets in uh, your warehouse have a unique pallet ID and they are in inventory. At number four, we connect to egg quality devices. Many of our customers use systems where they do checks of samples of eggs that they receive and they try to uh, uh, figure out what the yolk color is, what the shell strength is and stuff like that. We connect these egg quality devices into our system and by doing that we can store the egg quality information in our database and relate it to the eggs that we've received from different suppliers. Now at some point we are going to scan the eggs at the loader. If you process a pallet at the loader of your breaker, you have to scan the barcode that's on it. That will take it out of inventory and we can then communicate to the loader of the breaking machine with our breaker batches solution. So the breaker batches solution uh, offers the ability to communicate with the Sonovo Opti breaker so we can tell the breaker what eggs are coming and the breaker will uh, inform us about the results of each batch. Part of that solution is also the RFID batch chain solution from Sonovo. Seven and eight handles about packaging and ingredients. At number seven, uh, we offer the ability to label a pallet of packaging material or ingredients. Packaging can be carton boxes or buckets or whatever you use to uh, deliver your egg products. And ingredients can be anything like salt, sugar, citric acid and 
any other ingredients you use in your process. So after seven, every pellet of empty uh, packaging or ingredients has a unique ID and it's in inventory. And at number eight, we scan this label when we bring this pellet out to the production to be used. We then move on to the end of your uh, process where you fill off your finished product. And we can print labels here for whatever product you make, whether it's for liquid or for powder, whether it's in a pelican or a bag in box or in a bucket. We are identifying the finished product with a unique ID on a label. And that label is available in our inventory and it tells where and when it was produced and what, uh, what batch was on the, on the braking machine at that moment. These finished products then enter your cooler with finished products and are then waiting for shipment to customers. You can build mixed pallets if your customer requires that or you can just scan out a full pallet to an order at dispatch. And these orders are available through the same interface that I mentioned before, the interface with your ERP system. Now all of these modules are also available and can be looked up for further information on our new egg processing segment on our website. And I encourage you to, to do that and, like, and take a look there.